Does autopilot and full self-drive use a horn in extreme situations to alert other human drivers that something might be up? We'll find out here next on Tesla Tips and Trips. We've owned our car for two years, 25,000 miles. You've probably seen the video. We have that uh, posted in uh, everywhere on the channel. We've done multiple road trips. You've seen videos on that. We've had the car, like I said, two years, 25,000 miles. And I've never been in a situation where I was so uncomfortable that the car was about to wreck until this past week. We were driving home from downtown Los Angeles up to our house in the Santa Clarita area near Magic Mountain. And we got into a situation, it was my son and I, where I can't believe we got out of it without a scratch. It was just getting boxed in traffic. We're gonna show you the video. Um, and it was just a situation where I left there and the adrenaline was pumping for about 30 minutes. And I hadn't been in that kind of a situation in quite a long time. I've been driving a long time, uh, been driving a long time with this car. And this was one of those situations where I think I think the car would have been totaled if we got into a wreck. And a lot of things had to go right. We're gonna go over the video on exactly what happened, but a lot of things had to go right uh, in terms of what the Tesla was doing, what I was doing as the human, and what the others around me were doing. It was a lot of luck involved. But one thing that came up on the drive home, and I was talking to my son Marcus, and it was the use of the horn. And a horn is required by law on every single car. And I used it extensively in this situation to le uh, let the other humans know that uh, I was occupying the same space that they wanted, basically. And I think the horn is what got us out of that jam, uh, along with the people behind us recognizing that something was about to go down. And we've got video of all that from our, our dash cam. And luckily nothing happened, not a scratch. But like I said, a lot of things had to go right for that to happen. So I used the horn. Let's take a look at the video here. Uh, we're about 30 seconds into our sentry mode video here. We're coming up on a situation where uh, people are exiting the freeway. And if you see the black truck, they're braking right now and they got the turn signal on. They're about to get off uh, at this exit. So I slow up a little bit. They're getting over. I'm thinking, all right, cool. I got this lane. Oh he wanted the lane back and I was able to slightly use the lane to the left of me and got out of that jam. Now let's take a look at the back camera. Um, we're doing the same thing about 32 seconds in the back camera. You can see we're coming up on the incident that Acura recognizes that something's going down. He slows up or she and we get out of it. I go over slightly into the lane. I almost missed that Honda there, and all kinds of stuff is going on. I mean, it's one of those situations where lots is going on, a lot of stuff is going on. I'm looking in mirrors, I'm looking everywhere trying to get out of this, and I am just laying on the horn, letting that black uh, car know. Well, let's take a look at the right repeater. Um, the right repeater, we're coming up on it. We're alongside the uh, other car and I mean, it's it's just by the skin of our teeth that we're getting out of this jam. I don't even know that what that phrase means. It, it makes no sense to me, but whatever. Here it is, we're, we're so, it's a Jeep. We're so close. He was occupying two lanes, decided to come back over. Uh, you know, once you commit, once you turn your signal on and you're heading into that lane, I know assumptions are dangerous. I assume you're gonna be in that lane and not come back. You know, so I'm gonna go ahead and forward. now. This is not about whether I was right or what they were right. We got out of it okay, everything's good. The point is, is I was laying on my horn heavily to let that driver know that I was already in that space. And I think, obviously they heard it and got back over and all was good. But it got me thinking. It got me thinking really hard. What happens in a, if you're driving full self-drive or autopilot now I understand the human is still in charge and you should still take control in a situation like that, but what if? What if that came up so fast that even the human wasn't able to grab hold and take control and do that and, and autopilot or full self-drive was still in control trying to figure out what was going on? I have never seen or heard, I follow Tesla extensively as I'm sure you do because you're watching this channel right now. 
I have never seen or heard a situation where full self-drive honks the horn. At this point, autonomous vehicle driving is not mainstream. So you have to assume other humans are still driving the car and you gotta let them know that you're occupying the space that they are trying to get into. That's basically what a horn is all about, right? Uh, well, it could be friendly too, but the horn is to let the humans know you're there. And without that, I don't know if autopilot or full self-drive is gonna be able to get out of certain situations. There are so many variables out there on the road. So many things can happen. And yes, humans make mistakes. That's why there's insurance and that's why there's accidents. But at the same time, will the full self-drive... Now, nine just came out. I mean, it's literally coming out as we speak over this weekend. Uh, will that be included? Will the horn be included? And I think it needs... I mean, there's a reason why it's included by law on every car. It's not to you know, let people know inside the house that you're there to pick them up. I mean, I guess people use it for that, <laughs> but uh, it's, it's mainly for a safety reason. And I have never seen it on any Facebook uh, video and any YouTube video. I mean, I, I've watched Tesla Raj, he's got the, the full self-drive beta and I've never seen that come up. Um, others in my area uh, have the full self-drive beta and I've never seen that situation come up. And I've tweeted Elon, if he uh, tweets back and gives me an answer, he's probably busy this weekend, but uh, if he tweets me back, I'll go ahead and do an update on this video. But I truly wanna know, I don't know. And I think that's an important feature that needs to be added. And I can't believe nobody's thought of it or come up with it or anything like that. If you know, I mean, that's what the descriptions down below are for. I would really appreciate if, if you got links or something that I'm not searching for or whatever, because I think that needs to be added to uh, autopilot and full self-drive. Certainly full self-drive. Autopilot, still have to have the human interaction. Same thing with full self-drive, but um, at the same time, there could be a situation where something happens so fast, th and this situation happened very quickly. Um, it escalated very quickly. And I, I, I like to think that it was all human skill on my part getting out of the jam, but honestly, it wasn't. I'm sure the Tesla was doing stuff that I don't even know about. I'm sure the horn helped, and I'm sure the people behind me recognizing something was gonna, about to happen and them slowing up saved all of us from a big wreck. So lots of things have to, have, have to happen in those situations. So uh, the horn, I think it's important. What do you think? Do you think it, it, it needs to be included in full self-drive? Uh, do you think it already is? I don't know, I don't know. I've been searching and looking, haven't seen a video on it. Haven't seen, uh, there was something like in 2016, somebody mentioned it, but after that, there's nothing. And that doesn't count. That's like, what is that, five years ago. So it, things have changed a lot since then. The Model 3 and Y weren't even out back then. So um, let me know. I would love to know, and I'll do an updated video if, uh, if we find more uh, clues or details on this particular situation. But um, anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for putting up with this, uh, I guess, harebrained idea even though I have none. Um, and uh, I, I, first and foremost, thank you so much for uh, checking out our videos. We are new to this game. Uh, we're having a lot of fun with it. Um, it's kind of a hobby of mine now. It's, it's really kind of cool to be uh, doing video editing and YouTube stuff and hosting. And it's crazy. Every time I think of something, I'm, I'll throw it up there. I'll throw it up on YouTube. So I appreciate you subscribing and liking our videos. And uh, we'll, we'll catch you on the next one. We'll, we'll be around.